All right, um, quick follow-up to the video I made yesterday about uh, letting God defend us. Est Esther 710 speaks about Naaman, and he was trying to get Esther and uh, Mordecai, they were Jews, um, destroyed or killed by the king. And, you know, if you know the whole story, they were, they were under um, capture. The Israelites were under capture. God's people were under capture from uh, an unknown nation which uh, I think the king's name was Ahasuerus something like that but anyway if you read Esther 7.10 it says that Naaman was hung on the place that he had prepared for Mordecai so what that says is that your enemies are going to try to hang you your, em your enemies are going to try to destroy you and God is going to turn them around when you put him first God is going to turn them around and, and hang or destroy the people that were trying to hurt you. So always keep that in mind. That God will always defend you when you put him first. And that's exactly what they did. They put the Lord first. And the Lord defended them. And that same trick that they they, they try to play on on them. God turned it around. And played on Naaman. Naaman was the person that was trying to destroy Mordecai and Esther. So that's what I was saying about yesterday. That we don't wish our enemies any bad. But God is fair and he's just. And when people try to mess you up or do things that they shouldn't do to you, and you put your trust in the Lord, God is going to turn around. And whatever they're trying to do, He's going to do it to them. So um, I'm just following, in, following that up, and I want you guys to read Esther 7.10. Read the, whole, read the whole book of Esther. It's very interesting. All right, guys. God bless you.